score from Brookfield Academy. Like we got boxed in, and like that first lap was unreasonably slow. Like we came through it around I think 70 or so. So like most of the, like, the entire first lap, I was just trying to concentrate and just get out of there. So like when we came around the 800, like it was me and him there. Then he kind of he kind of made a surge, and I was just kind of stupid and really didn't stick on there a little longer because I. I don't know, I just kind of felt choppy and didn't feel like I was striding out that much and he kind of separated and then I said, yeah. The fact that you ran it all today, I mean, after yesterday, how did you feel? Well, like yesterday, I think it was just a matter of eating because like um, the day before I ate at like 4 o'clock just right after practice. Like not that much, and then we got up here, we didn't need anything, so I was just thinking it was a matter of energy, like not like dehydration or whatever. Because like that entire two mile yesterday, I didn't feel good, like until the 800, sure. or, like since the like the first 800 of that race. So and it felt like I was trying way, way too hard, and then that final 200, I just kind of got bumped and elbowed, and then I don't know what happened. I just blacked out. And just, uh, how, how much better do you feel about this and and Going back back home, do you feel you know like you know, some positives came out of this? Honestly, no. I I know I could have done a lot better in the mile. Like I mean, my PR is a 4:24, and I did that all by myself. And I mean, yesterday in the two mile, my PR is a 9:23. The guy who won it, his PR is a 9:42. I mean. You have to look at the positives. I know, like, I really can't look at them now because I'm just kind of disappointed about this whole weekend. But I don't know, you just gotta kind of think about it for a week, get motivated, and just come back for cross country. Hopefully, make it a three.